Hey everybody, it is me, Pimp Schmear. Um, so, uh, you might have, probably are about to ask this, where did the stream videos go? Only the highlight stream remains. Well, truth be told, I wasn't exactly proud of the streams. Um, there's a few things that I liked doing for a live crowd, but I think in terms of this, it's just so it's something to do on quiet days when you just want like something relaxing to play and listen to like streams not exactly relaxing because your eyes are all over the place and it's just not fun it wasn't fun for me anymore um so what i'm gonna do is this is probably could also be considered some sort of like like sleeping video you might want to listen to it's just a very chill relaxing playthrough of legend of zelda Apart from maybe bits where I might die, but then you might get a laugh. There will still be some fun voices involved with it and everything, but this is probably going to be a form of therapy for me to just veg out to after like doing voiceover stuff for a while, because I do it every day. It gets a little labor-intensive. Um, and then maybe for you guys, too, just something to chill, sit back, and join me in. So with that said, what do you say we start from the ground up and we just enjoy our time in Legend of Zelda. I will try to get through Grand Plateau just a little faster than the stream. In the stream, I think I took like an hour and a half to finish it. Um, but we're gonna try to go a little faster since now I remember where everything is on Grand Plateau. Um, but yeah, it's nice to now do this in a very chill studio with just a little beanbag chair to just kind of curl up into. Wolf right next to me staring at me in judgment but it'll be good. Uh, probably This also probably helped gear us up for Breath of the Wild 2 or whatever they're going to call it, because from my understanding of the trailer, um, it didn't really show much of the outer world. It did show Hyrule Castle sinking at the end, but I feel like a lot of it might actually be underground, which is pretty dang cool and treacherous for it. It very, uh, very soulsy in that sort of aspect. I'm excited for it, really. Um, just because I'm curious as to what the whole lore is with uh, with Ganon in that. Is it possible because if all the timelines converged, there was actually two versions of him? Or did he actually separate into two entities himself? Like to have Calamity Ganon as just an embodiment of hatred and Ganondorf himself still exists. I don't know. It's also interesting, he looks like Hyrule Warriors Ganondorf, with the long hair and the the crown that conjoins into five different places. It's very interesting. Um, I don't know. I geek out about this a lot. Uh, <laughs> I actually own all three versions of Dark Horses Zelda. I actually picked up the Blue Book not too long ago because I wanted the encyclopedia because there's some stuff that I didn't actually know what names were for. And I wanted like some more answers on like, What's the deal with all the other swords that Link can get in games? Why did, like, Master Sword not show up in these? And, like, I got some good answers. I really did. Oh, can I skip? Yeah, okay. We get it. We, we got it. We got it. We just, we gotta get the tablet. We gotta get Sheikah's, like, the iPad. We gotta get it. We gotta pick it up. And we gotta use it. Just give it to me. That is a Sheikah Slate. Oh, thank you. Take it. Okay. It will help guide you after your long slumber. All right, I can do that. The other thing I wanted to do is, um, because in all the incorrect Zelda quotes, I made uh, Link Irish, just because, to me, if the Hyrule royal family is British, perhaps the, the working class and the knight class are all Irish and Scottish. I figured Link would probably most likely be Irish. Uh, so in back-to-back -back banter dialogue, we will make Link Irish. Um, which is nice for me, because I grew up in a small little town called Durham uh, in New York. And that was basically like 99% Irish immigrants, like fresh off the boat immigrants. And like the accent always stuck with me. Um, it, it was nice. I love that little town and I miss it so much. Um, I moved further upstate where I eventually got out of the accident and just got like a standard neutral accent. But every so often I will creep back into the Irish if I'm around people that are from there or 
visiting relatives that uh, fly in from Ireland for family reunions and stuff. It's really sweet. Um, so I suppose if you want, if you want to talk about that in the comments, uh, if there's anything that you guys want to see in the future, because basically right now this is just going to be a chill playthrough for the Grand Plateau, and then uh, you guys can make requests on voices for characters we will come across later on. Uh, cause I know in the stream, I made Paya Kermit when she's nervous. Uh, I made a couple of the monks, uh, have very high squeaky voices. I might still do that for myself cause I loved doing those bits. Um, but yeah. <sighs> and for this, we'll try to go through this nice and chill, but also not take too long. But this is one of those relax and just enjoy the time you have and maybe use it to take on some homework and stuff and i'll talk with you along the way and listen to really beautiful music that reminds me of studio ghibli and yeah 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 it'll be good it'll almost be like asmr but not like in your face sort of asmr more like unintentional asmr you know what i mean yeah yeah it'll be good that introduction scene, I always loved the little, like, him running up the hill, realizing how much things have changed, even though he doesn't remember anything, but it's, it's very sweet. I always liked it. Let me grab our first weapon of the game. We got a stick. Not a thick stick. Just a regular stick. It's not as sticky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, grab a few of the things that we might need. The bladed beetle there? Yeah. So that wasn't randomized. That was there. I guess I always scared him off in the first time I played the game. Because I was just so excited to be playing a new Zelda. Who knew? The bladed rhino beetles were there. They were always there. Push a boulder. We'll give it to the old man. Excuse me, old man. Is this your rock? Do you need this? I'll bring it to you. Yeah, see, is that yours? Oh, I don't think it was yours. It went the other way. All right. Maybe this time I'll actually talk to the old man first and not grab his food. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh -huh. Well met, stranger. It's rather unusual to see another soul in these parts. Who are you? Me? <laughs> I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who's lived here alone for quite some time now. I hope you'll permit me a question, if I may be so bold. Are you not chilly? Oh, I forgot to put on my clothes. Yeah, well, now that you mention it, I am a little nippy. Um, can you not stare so much, really? All right, where are we? Answering a question with a question. <laughs> that is fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence, I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Just this one plateau, really? I find that very hard to believe. Look at my stick. Is it cool? I like it. That temple there, long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I shall be here for quite some time. Please, let me know if I may be of service. Well, thank you for reminding me I had to put clothes on, so I'm going to do that for you. You're not judging me anymore or looking at me. Suggestively. Yes? What are you doing? I'm relaxing by the fireside, of course. Although I'll need to cook myself another baked apple at some point. Simple foods such as apples are fine to eat raw, but roasting them on a fire makes them rather tasty and nutritious. Is that right? Can I do that with these? These ones right here? Can I eat them? I'm gonna burn them. Yeah. Give me my cooked apple. Thank you. I did it, you see it? Did you see me do it? I'll do it again, just so you see it. Just watch me. 
Toss me. It's easy, old man. I'll teach you. It's right here. Just throw the apple next to the fire. Forget all physics about cooking and everything. Just throw apples by fire and bam, I'm taking yours. I beg your pardon, I do believe that is my baked apple. You can't just go taking about whatever you please. <laughs> Forgive me, I couldn't resist pulling my leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. Yeah, did you see me do it twice? You saw that, right? By the way, is that your torch? I'm taking it. Oh, well, just help yourself to that torch there. How may I ask you planning to use it? Uh, as a weapon. Innovative. However, that is probably best used to light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. Many beasts roam the land past this point. You may take out my axe with you, if you please. Assuming you can find it. Oh, gee! I wonder where it is. Clearly, it's, it's a real mystery to me. I just don't know. I just don't know. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Do the brain thing. Okay. I'm gonna take this now. Good boy. Alright. We got that. An X. Yeah. Do thing. Let's just start also grabbing wood along the way because I need it for Link's house later. Oh. You're just gonna stop that tree halfway? Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. How do you know my name? I'm just saying. I just woke up. I took the iPad. I chopped the tree. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Just chopping trees. I'm a lumberjack now. Do you like this? This is what the game players evolved in, devolved into. I just chop trees. Why do I do it? I don't know. I will never know. The old man is right, though. Let's get a better weapon before we do anything stupid. Oh, yep. All right. Dive. Ah, you found me. Huh? You're not Hetsu. Oh, you can see me? I didn't know you can't see the children of the forest. Well, if you want me, Hetsu, please return this to him. It's my poop. I made the joke twice, in two different voices. You like it? I like it. Oh, my friends are hiding in a lot of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose in suspicious places. Define suspicious there, floating nut. I'm not really sure what you want. All right. I'm just going to take the sword up here. You don't mind. It's not your sword, right? All right. It's my sword now. I'm taking it. Yay, it's a rusty broadsword. I like it. It's mine now. Dive. Granted, it won't last it long, but at least, hey. <laughs> oh, sword. It's great. <laughs> Alright. Enough chitter chatter. Let's go unlock some shrines. Get off this platform. Not too worried about the Korok seeds, unlike the stream. We'll just roll with it. Hey, stick stick friend! Give me your stick! Got my thick stick back. Everything's all is well. All is well. We got the thick stick back. Alright. Let's just. So if you run. Okay, so I think you can do an exploit to run faster. Yeah! You can run and do this. Granted, it makes it easy to spot. Well, I look. Will the game be nice to me this time and let me do the thing I wanted to do in the stream? I don't know. Let's find out. Push rock. Oh, goody, it let me do it, but then I also got hit by it. That's so great. That's better than not being able to do it at all. I'm taking your seared steak. Oh, yeah, I have mushrooms I can cook. I got shrooms. And I got more apples. But first, 
I gotta cook these shrooms. A toasty Hylian shroom. So, I was trying to explain this in the stream, I think, but I think it lagged out when I was doing it. Um, it's better to do the baked stuff first because it stacks. Like, you can have 99 baked apples in the same meal slot. Whereas making simmered fruit will take up a slot each time. So if you only have, like, minimal hearts, just take, take everything. It's much better for you in the start. Throw a barrel. Oh. Okay. Alright. Um... Those guys have something that I think is good. But first, I need a bow. So we're gonna sneak. We're gonna be sneaky. Oh. Well, you see right there. That right there is the red-assed bokoblin. It's very, very common. Very aggressive. I'm gonna sneak up on it. And jam my sword in its back. And then kill his friend. Nature. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. This is good. This is good. Alright. Sweet. Alright. So. Let's go take their stuff. They've got stuff and I want it. And then we'll unlock the tower. How close I can get without being spotted. Yeah. Maybe right there. Alright. As you can see right there, there's more red bacoblins and they've built some house out of a giant freaking human skull. I haven't seen a human quite that big since Anime Expo 2019. I'm going to take more bow and I'm going to scare him out of the hell. I'm almost there. Just shoot the thing. Eh. It's too hard. There we go. I missed. I was supposed to hit a barrel. Why didn't I hit a barrel? Oh, it was the wrong one. That's why. Whoops. I'll have to shoot this one. You have to shoot the other one. <laughs> I really keep looking at it, like, what is that? Alright, this is the one. Not the one. Alright, fine. Yeet! Well. Remember, this is a chill playthrough. They have a nice relaxing time. Oh, oh crap. They all went back to do their thing. Yeah, let's draw him scare map. There we go. Hello. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a pointy thick stick. I got it! I knew you guys had something fun. Yeah, it's mine now. I take it. Alrighty. That was satisfying. Okay. Up we go. Get that. Take the treasure. Heck yeah. Now, now we can go. Alright, 
let's go unlock the sheep towers and start getting off this shrine. Because I already wasted 20 minutes. Right, it's a chill playthrough, but like, even so. Even so. Oh, it's using the fire arrows right away. Well, I can't use that for a while. And I blew up the shield that the blooper goblin had. Oopsies. Alright. Try to sneak on this dude. Get his stuff. <laughs> you mind. Thank you. Use that. I want to hold on to the really good club for a while. <sighs> Place the Sheikah Slate in the pedestal. Alright. You mean this thing? This little doodad right here? Okay. Put it in here. Yum. Just eat your tablet and you can never use it again. It's like, wait, what? Alright, we know this cutscene. We know this cutscene. We saw it in the stream. I'm just gonna skip over it. We already know. We know the thing. It blows it up. Okay. Cool. Jesus. I did not mean to do that at all. Well, I've made a building. I guess I'm responsible for this. Distilling local information. Distilling what now? I never realized it was the opening chest music done on the really high notes of the piano. And that's nice polish right there. Also, if you know Hyrule, language or Sheikah language rather uh what it says every so often is now loading or it's dangerous to go alone take this and that's clever i like that let's give this one too remember i i i do My, the guy who controls me knows remembers everything but i'm just i'm just along for the ride all right just let me do my thing we just land on things properly. Down. Yep. Yay. 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 Oh ho! I'm coming down. We. I am I. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. Yeah, I made it. You like it? This tower and others like it have, across to, have erupted across the land, not corrupted, it erupted. It's almost as though a long dormant power is quite... Bleh. You get what I'm saying. I heard a voice. Well now, a voice, you say? Do you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity surrounding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain the evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment to unleash its blight upon the land once again. It appeared that moment is fast approaching, unless someone lollygags like a dummy. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? Yes. Yeah. I had a feeling you'd say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we're surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that'd be quite another story. Paraglider? Piqued your interest, have I? Well, I didn't come down soaring here on my own feathery wings, you know. I mean, I'm dead, but whatever. Or not, I will happily agree to give you my parry bladder, but not for nothing. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Um, I have no amnesia. What's treasure? Is it the things I found in the box? Is that it? Come, let me show you something. 
It makes you wonder how much does Link not remember? Because I, I feel like the whole thing with amnesia is do you forget memories? Do you also forget how to function as a human? Like, it's always something I always pondered when they bring up amnesia in the stories. Do you see that structure there? The one surrounding with a strange light. It began glowing the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. It's pretty, isn't it? It's kind of dope. I would think such a place might have some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Yeah, I can get it for you. No big deal. I'm not wasting it. I am not wasting a fire arrow on your dumb red ass. Can you see me? I don't think you can see me, can you? Oh, uh, oh, your big dumb brain can't possibly figure out that I'm right here. Oh, you're just so silly. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Bye. took your stuff. See, in Shield's playthroughs, it's nice so you can be sneaky, too, and just just enjoy murdering from a nice, quiet distance. Aw, oh, you guys count donut. How is it possible that you guys built the thing you can have an archer climb on, but when it comes to combat, you suddenly forget how to climb ladders. you have an answer for me for about that? I don't think you do. I don't think they had an answer for me. It must feel weird when you're not paying attention and I jump between accents. You know what's, it's also really weird is when I first moved into new town when I was a kid and I had the Irish accent. I think the reason I stopped using it is because kids didn't understand me. It was very bizarre. Um, so I just kind of instinctively just stopped using it. And it's a shame because I loved it. And it's actually kind of hard to do now. Um, hopefully that's something that never fades away entirely from me. I don't think it ever will, but you know, it's easy to forget stuff sometimes. <sighs> yeah. I feel like history is repeating itself right now. I think I destroyed the boxes in the exact same method on the stream. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we got that. I'm gonna drop a base branch right here. Take that. Take this. I think we get a, a traveler's bow in the dungeon, so I'm just gonna preemptively drop one of these because I don't think it's too critical that I don't have that for now. Alright, cook some more baked apples and consume them. Yeah. Oh, that wasn't enough distance. Try that again. Consume apples. There we go. Perfect. See? The stack. So handy. I will take this opportunity to make mighty potions for myself. That's a good thing to have on hand. Especially if I accidentally run into the stone talus and not purposely find it. Bueno. Alrighty. Let's move on. I'm gonna go up this way. Let's 
It's funny, I always took the water route to get around. So it's nice to try different things every so often. It's a little too deep when playing Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Alrighty. Jump. Okay. And our first shrine. I'm gonna try to go through this nice and easy. Okay, got the ruby. Open the door. Skip. Again, the thing. And skip. Loading screen. So it's fun. So it's a great time. <laughs> Pardon me. Okay, Magnesis. Open that up. Ah, oh, that's right, you can't scan. Can't skip this one. That was always the I imagine when you're a speedrunner, that is infuriating that you can't skip this sequence. So I think I'm trying to remember some of those ones. It changes every so often depending on which one is distilling a rune. Some of them are, yeah, it's dangerous to go along, take this. Some of them is now loading. It's very clever. That, like, they built their own language that you don't think you'd understand at first, and then you pick up a book, and then you go back and listen. Or, like, look at it and realize, oh my god, that is clever. There's, like, hidden Easter eggs that would take months to realize in advance that's what they were. It's really cool. Alright, so this is the first trick I think you can do. You can bypass this completely. Yep. Oh, shoot. I just had the right idea. But it's just like, if you don't want to waste doing the Magnesis thing, you can just do that. Yeah, you're gonna bug me. Give me your stuff. Alright, let's try that again. So you can just... Jump, flip. Oh, you know what it is? You have to drop the shield as soon as you do it, so that way... Okay. <laughs> this point almost seems ridiculous that I'm doing it this way. But I just want to do it to say that I could. <sighs> Never mind. I'll do it the way you want me to do it. At this point, it just seems ridiculous to keep trying. I'm not really saving time at this point either by just constantly trying to redo it. I'm gonna have to look into that one more. Because I know you can, there's, you can just elevate yourself to certain places with the double jump. What's up, dude? Give me your thing. Boop. You have proven you possess the result of a true hero. I am a minion, the creator of this tree. I'm a humble monk blessed with the sight of a guy highly and dedicated to helping those who seek to defeat Ganyan. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of God is highly allow me to bestow this gift upon you. Do all you guys sound like that? Yes. Mummification does that. Please expect the spirit, accept the spirit arm. I don't know words anymore because I'm Memphis. <laughs> Thank you. 
<sighs> Alright, we got it. Yay. Hey guys, man, the panic! The panic! Goodbye. <laughs> oh, goofy voices are fun. Alright. Then let's mosey our way over to these other three strands. There we go, that one. We're gonna have to be a little bit lighter on our feet. Oh! I'm coming to interrupt your game! Sup? Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How'd you know? Five points! Or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it becomes more difficult what is right to see what is right before one's own eyes, you know what I mean? However, that which once was hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps it's not true for everyone. Are you foreshadowing right now? No? Yes. Uh, you probably want me to get this over with, right? Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, the bad dialogue. Yeah, it's next mic, you know, plot device. Yeah, Eat, look in my eye. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. You having fun with all this? You just trying to check the way. Oh, you want, man. So I need more now? Yeah, 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 you need more treasures. You joking? Yeah, okay. I could completely bypass what you were just about to say and just move on to the next one. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't care! I'm leaving now. Goodbye. I'm going to the next shrine. I'll see you when you want to give me the paraglider. You just want to be a big old dingus about it. But guess what? I can out-dingus you! I'm the master of dingus! I'm the dingus king! See you later. <sighs> Alright. Speed things along. Okay, just watch your stamina here. My bokeh shield's badly damaged. Oh no. Oh no. Arrows. Oh no. What are they shooting at? There's nothing. They didn't even do target practice properly. They were just shooting for the sake of shooting. That is just a waste of bullets. Yep. Hit. Hit. Butterfly. Makes you feel warm and fuzzy. It sure does. Because it's all fluffy and fluttery and adorable. I love it. It's my friend now. His name is Tim. I'm going to turn him into a potion later. Who's that? Nothing. Don't worry about it, Tim. Don't worry about it at all, Tim Tim. Uh, wait. Yes. Flawless. Nothing is possibly going to murder me in this one section of the game, is there? Hit! Yeah, if I stay up here, nothing will possibly murder me. Hey, murder this! Yeah, even when I make a ridiculous amount of noise. Skip! That's right, I skipped your door opening. How you like that? I don't even care. I don't even care about your door opening. Skip the thing. You skip the bit. Some amiibos. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have amiibos. They're not in my studio. I actually don't know where my. I have, like. For Christmas, I was given, like, NFC cards of, like, the games. Which I. I don't use because mainly the because they're like they have weird bizarre art on them that's like not official so it's very janky looking to look at um but yeah I have them and I could always do one to get the wolf keep that gravy train rolling of all my let's plays of having a wolf friend but for now let's just take the bomb let's just take the bomb ruin and be on our way Rune extracted. Here you go. Enjoy. Upgrade your software. It's gonna run slower now. Oh man. I always hate it when Apple does updates. 
That was the wrong button. Throw out. Boom. Switch. Do, do, do. Yeet. Ah. Yeet. Yeet. Ow. That was dumb. Nobody look at me. Nobody look at me. And drop egg stick. Give me that. Maybe actually, because there's no boss in this, I might as well just wait for the monk to heal me. Just gonna have to deal with that pleasant you're about to die sort of noise. Isn't it great? At least it's not like the old Zelda's where it's loud and annoying, like, hey, you're definitely gonna die if you don't do something about this. Just saying. It's very bad. Oh, dip. Uh, that's what I get for making dumb voices all the time. Gotta jump or just wait. Okay. Now, you can bypass this part too, I believe. By just throwing this in the perfect way. Or dying. That also helps too. should not have been i really should have just healed that's the game punishing me for not listening to my own brain it's great well, at least i have the room okay boop do i still have the ch do i still have the weapon though oh i do well, at least the game accounts for that well, that was our first death, and that was probably a dumber way to die in comparison to how I died in the stream. My first death in the stream, if you missed it, was to a blue bokoblin. Not the one that I murdered in the skulls, but one in the mountains. Because I thought it would be fun to fight it woefully unprepared. But, you know what? We all learn. We all make mistakes. For now, I'm going to try this dumb thing again. Yeet! There we go. And I'm going to just jump up here. Take bam. Jab it. Go around. Blow it up. And boom! I don't know how many seconds you shave doing that. Especially if you don't... Especially if you die doing it, but... Whatever. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, you're so smart and dumb. You're sourcing of this new becoming this child speaks to the Pamsey hero. You want my orb? Yeah. All right, here you go. Enjoy. Thanks. Need to carry smell the pun. Oh. <laughs> I'm making myself tired in chill playthrough. But by me yawning, I have spread the yawning disease. Enjoy that yawn. Just... Sleep and enjoy it. Listen with Nixie. Yeah. All right. Cool. Two down. Climb up. Ignore the freaking Scully Bacoblins. Get the Nintendo Switch shirt. You know what? I'm going to wear it this time because it does the exact same amount as the thing I currently have. You guys want this? Here you go. Alright. I'll see you later. Uh-oh. Which one of you can see me? Oh, no. Oh, hi, buddy. Wow. That was harrowing. Well, I got a red shirt now. So that's cool. Which, if you watch Star Trek, usually always means that's a bad time. I beat you with a porch. Yeah, you didn't like that, did you? You died. Took your arm. You gotta take your stick, too. Which I can't. Whatever. These things are fragile anyway. I think you can just throw it in one hand and it breaks. Or, never mind. Whatever. Yeah, I got the stick. 
Goodbye, dangly weird arm. See you later. Alright, shrine number three. See, now that I'm paying attention, you know where the shrines are. We're going this a lot quicker than in the, the stream. Because that was just really biding time. Hey. Stab. Bye. See you later. Because you guys always come back no matter what I do. Because of blood moons. They're fueled by Mountain Dew Code Red. And... Wake up! Bye. Bye. <laughs> nice. What's up, bees? Could I have some of your honey? Bye, bees. Bye, bees. Where's your honey? Thank you. I'm gonna take it. Come on, that's my honey. I'm also gonna start deforestizing these trees here. Yep. Now, I ignored this last time. Well, two, two things. If you've never played Master Mode before, uh, there is a silver Lionel that just chills right there. So it makes you recalculate everything you're supposed to do if you just did this part, ca part casually. Like if you just went around the countryside of Great Plateau and just went to all the shrines. You'd have to replan everything. Because obviously you can't kill it. I've yet to see anybody who can do it at the beginning of the game. Because Master Mode, one of the annoying perks about it is enemies recharge their health if you don't wail on them every five seconds. I think I actually kept track. As soon as you stop hitting it for five seconds, it starts to regenerate health. And that, as the internet would say, is illegal. All right, I'm going to take this. Yeah, you see on me. Here's my poop. Enjoy it. You got two poops now. Enjoy. What's up, old man? You got stuff? I like stuff. Uh, do I need that? I'm gonna take all your food. You're not gonna judge me for that one, are you? Yeah, I think so. Alright, so. Probably will use as a shield surf thing. Uh, for now, we need to. No! Dip. Okay. Plan B. We can always get another rush room over there. I didn't grab them, I think. Yeah, there's one over there. You can climb up the mountain faster with rush rooms. Um, you just can't eat them raw, or else it doesn't do anything. Here, we got one. All right. One of those spur of the moment things. I always have to pay attention to what button I'm pressing. All right. Hold it. Hook it. Perfect. Tasty mushroom skier. And because we have very little stamina, I'm just going to cook these one at a time. It's better than trying to use it all at once. Later on, when you have, like, an insane amount of health, maybe it's better to build the dishes all at once. But... <sighs> when you get to Link's house, because probably if some of you who don't play Legend of Zelda, just because if it's not your thing, but you like watching people play it, you need 30 pieces of wood to get back Link's house that's in Hateno. Uh, at least the, the internet thinks it's its house, and I'm a firm believer it is too, just because it's been abandoned for 100 years, and... <laughs> Hateno is the only other place with Hylians, so I'm gonna assume it's Link's house. I think that's a fair assumption to make on the internet. It's not like heavy induced game theorizing. Alright, I think enough of all that. Let's get over there. Pick up a Korok leaf that we need. I think it's this tree that gives it to you. 
Oh, I didn't get one at all. Alright. Let's gently make our way over there. One of these trees has got to have four eye leaf, because you can just blow those guys away that's over there. Alright, fine. I do this the new technology way. When you run into axes, you use a band. And you get two woods. Throw it, and you blow it up. You pick it up, you pick it. Throw it, blow it up. Wood. Oh, it's a lizard friend. Your name is Steven, and you're now my new best friend. Yay? Oh, they're asleep. I can take this opportunity to sneak strike them. Let's do that. As you can see right here, we have two little goblins just sleeping. Not a care in the world. And now they're dead. I killed them. And they took taking the treasure. Boom. What? How did I miss? Yep. I was like right there. How the dip. How the dip and dip. It's so weird seeing Link with just, like, a modern shirt that says Nintendo Switch. You know what? It's probably cleaner than the raggedy shirt he just pulled out of the chest. Uh, I have a lot of clubs. Go clubbing! Okay. This would be a good tree to get the things that you need. Grab it. Drop it like that. Take all the apples. All your apples are mine now. You can't have them back. I took your net too. Beep. Alright. Now let's do this climbing thing. Okay. Where's my mushroom? Eat it. Eat it. Look how fast we're going. In comparison to before when we were kind of going at a normal pace, this is much better. And then you jump. The Russians are also really good if you start going into a high end area that you are not prepared for. You can triple stack it uh, with, I think, five of them. Because it's got some weird values to it. Uh, I never, I never actually sat down because I like studying coding math for a game. Because I used to do it uh, with a friend of mine with Skyrim. Because there is a certain point if you over enchant, like if you mess with like the PC game console coding, you can like roll over damage values to like back to one. Um, I don't remember the exact number, but it was like way up there. Is uh, so we did it with a dagger of all things because we just wanted to see how far we could get with just using one measly iron dagger if we enchanted it enough times. And you can enchant it pretty freaking far. Like, I think with the dagger, we got to like, well, I'm about to die. Oh, god, whoops, I wasn't paying attention to this damn bar. I should have eaten one of my things. Okay, that's death number two. That was another dumb way to die. Um, anyway, I think we were talking about it, and I think, like, the value of the dagger got to, like, 937,286 with, like, the maximum value enchanting you can do in terms of game-breaking. Well, I used the process. And it gave me all that back. That was nice. All right. This time, pay attention. Okay. I'm just gonna do... All right, let's focus. That was a dumb... I I think I died that way the first time I've ever played this game, too. Because I wasn't accounting for where I was going to land when I was climbing. I just assumed I was going to fall right here. 
but because just the game wanted to punish me, it was like, nah, man, you're going all the way back down. And you're going to hate us. You're going to put down the game for a couple of minutes just to breathe and collect your thoughts. Because you're a dingus who went way too far into playing the game. Uh, it's just basically it. Alright, uh... Alright, and then I think as soon as we get this, we can just do the climb jump thing. Recharge! Jump! Weep! 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 There we go. Perfect. It's an all oh, damn shrine! <laughs> oh, it does sound like it's saying, oh, damn! Oh, damn! It's basically how you feel after you do about 50 of these. It's like, oh, it's a damn shrine! <laughs> we're making good progress, though. Less than an hour, we're already at shrine 3. Which is good. As long as I just remember to stay on path for the, uh, the other one. I feel like I should be able to at this point now that I know where I'm going. I really wish they'd let you skip this after, like, the third time. It's just a waster. It really is. It's just wasting your efforts and everything. Alright. Stasis activated. Give it back. You're done. You're done. I'm done with you. I wasn't done recharging. Oopsie poopsies. Alright. Alright. Stop. You run up you. Go, 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 go. Yes. Jolly. Right. Yeah, I can just do your thing. I'm just gonna follow behind you. You're a big old boulder, aren't you? Yes, you are. I'll see you later. Get my favorite weapon in the game, and that is Thor's hammer. Drop you. Yeah. Uh, which one of you is about to die? You. Right. I only just need to move you a wedge, so. Goodbye. Hmm. Alright, give me your thing. Oh, jeez. You, you really just gotta... You just really want your arm, don't you? Okay. Here you go. Have a nice day. You don't even want to bother talking to us anymore. Well, to be fair, there's like 54 of you that I have to speak to. You know what? That's fair. Why do we have so many of us? I don't know. You know, in reality, we just kind of give you a tunic that looks like the Legend of Zelda 1 tunic, but it's super powerful and makes it look like a big old dork. Oh, man. I have no problems already looking like a big old dork game. Y'all don't got to worry about that. I can do that on my own. Very well. Alright, so I think I can do this. Um, as long as I... Remember how to do it. Yeah, okay. I think I can do this. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. That's all you gotta tell yourself. Nope. I had the general idea, and then I lost it. God, I would make a terrible speedrunner. That's probably why I don't do it. I thought there's one up here. Uh, drop the torch. If anything, I can always just try to time it well with the, 
with the Boko Club in case I need to set something on fire. Oh. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. I forgot I needed to cook something. All right. It's going to be the fastest attempt to get to the spot with the warm doublet. We're just going to make our way over there and get it. Be mindful of our health. Which I know I haven't been doing so well I'm paying attention to that. Well, we'll get there. I know, Link. I know. You're cold. Just eat some apples. Which I suppose in terms of medicine is not the most effective route. But it works. You fall off a three-story building in Legend of Zelda, you just need an apple. You'll be okay. You'll be good. Everything will be okay as long as you eat an overdosage amount of apples. See? Like this. Yeah. See? You're better now. Yeah. Oh, no. You ran out of stamina. Oh, God. That's a bad time right there. We're gonna just not take the little scenic route. We're just gonna climb this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you'll be okay, so buddy. He's got a shirt that'll make you feel a lot better. Hey. Uh, yeah, can I have the thing, please? Thank you. You did well here. Take the warm doublet. Thanks. I appreciate it. Okay. Ah, that's much better. Take the... Oh, it changed! In the stream, it was an amber. Coolsies. Alright. Uh... Pilot, you are my new shield, sir. <laughs> Messing this up. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit! <laughs> uh, overshot that one. That's death three. Whoops. That was not... That was not cash money of me, as the kids say. That was pretty bad. Oh, and I don't even get... Do I still have my shirt? Thank you. You could have just let me have it. Just saying. Could have at least worn it. Alright. Let's take the safer route. Alright. Solve a puzzle. Solve the puzzle, pick up the boulder. Whoops. Can't try to throw this in my little thing. Yay! Oh. No, no. I, got, I forgot to say Kobe for accuracy. <sighs> what are you doing up here? You're a tree. Aren't you, like, gonna... Get frostbite and dot. Maybe that's why your leaf is red. Oh my god, that's probably what it is. That was their subtle nod. He's dying. Oh no. We feel so bad for him. Anyway, where's the shrine? Probably this way. It's funny, you can actually see the other tower over there and over there. And you can't reach them. Because you will die. Oh. Thank you. Alright. Where's my tower at? Where you at, buddy? Now there's... Oh, I could probably actually get revenge on this Bacoblin. The Bacoblin that was around the bend path over here was the one that killed me. Um... Oh, that's not important. Revenge is an ill thing that would just probably lead to greater death. Seriously, where is... Going the wrong way. 
Going the wrong way, everybody. This is what I get for sidetracking. It's all right. Figure it out. The Great Plateau may look big and harrowing, but in reality, it's actually relatively small. In comparison to everything else in this freaking game. We making my way to the shrine. It's right there. Going away. Yeah. Yeah, we do a little spin. We do a little spin. Oh, maybe that's what I was doing wrong with the bash. Grab the treasure chest that's right there that I missed last time. Sweet. That would actually come in handy. Now, I never attempted it. Somebody said you can actually shoot the eagles. Or the hawks, rather. I was like, that seems mean. Why would anybody do that? You know what? Let's just wrap this up easy peasy. Yep. Oh, where's the bomb arrow on you? You all been on my nerves lately. Take this opportunity to cook out the apples I picked up along the way. Especially now it's open. Yeah. Cook for me, baby. Uh, anything else worth roasting? The nuts... I don't know, I don't think I've actually roasted the nuts by themselves. Let's try. The nuts I usually just sauteed because they did very little health restoration. Oh! Here you go. Certain things I don't pay attention sometimes, because it's just like, it's an it's an acorn. Why would I want to eat that? And then I remember it was probably, it was probably a simple foraging thing that was easy to get when you're like a nomad. It's got protein and stuff. The things we take advantage of. Alright. What do you say we do this final shrine, get to the plateau, get our paraglider, and we will call this first chill playthrough done and done because you guys probably fell asleep to the sound of either my voice or boredom probably both i've been told my voice will put people to sleep and i don't know that feels like a mixed compliment because the implication is either it's soothing or it's boring and i just don't know i just don't know sometimes all right prionosis give me your rune do the cutscene. <laughs> There's another lot of line games I would love to do as a chill playthrough, because I remember playing them in school, because it was supposed to teach you about puzzle solving and everything, and that was the Space Quest series. Um, and I would love to do that. But that's a very retro -y style of game. I don't know how most people would be on board for that. And plus, since Zelda is one of my favorite series, and Breath of the Wild is my favorite game... This was a nice game to just do a chill playthrough. Yay. Solve a puzzle. I solved so many puzzles. Oh. Bye. I thought I could get you stuck up there. Turns out I couldn't. Thing you learn. Yep. Take this. Big gold pointy spear that I have no inventory for. I should have thought about that. 
Drop that spear. Drop the weak spear. We'll pick up the bad spear. And we'll whip it. Like I said in the stream, I love spears in this game. They are so much fun. Alrighty. We did it. We beat Legend Zelda. <laughs> Oh, if only the game were that easy. It's funny, because just like... Breath of the Wild took so many steps in a different direction. Wow, I hit the microphone by accident, sorry. Breath of the Wild took so many different directions in in comparison to what it normally does. Where the payout, the dungeons were bigger, and like... They were probably like, in comparison, if you've never played an older Zelda game, one dungeon would probably equal to about 8 to 10 shrines. Because they all have the same minimal puzzle style. Granted, towards the latter half than some of the DLC shrines, there is more than one puzzle you've got to solve and such. But there was basically the general concept is each puzzle rewarded you instead of just one puzzle opening up another puzzle. And then the payoff was at the very end. All right, yeah, it's funny time. Link, it's time for me to tell you everything. But first, I'm a ghost. Wait, wait, crap, I got my stuff backwards, I'm sorry. Go this way, I'll wait for you there. And now watch me fade out. It explains everything, goodbye. Oh. Uh. All okay, bye. I'm just gonna... We're just gonna warp there. I don't know if it's actually faster to get you. I think when you have the paraglider, you can just... It's easier to jump off the tower and fly there. But you don't have a paraglider, so you gotta do it the dumb old dingus dingus way. Which is to just... Scrimmy your way on up there from the Shrine of Resurrection. It's weird how they have this, too. I wonder if they had to use that anybody else. It just seems like, we have to use this on Link. Really? A lot of soldiers who died in battle. Sure we don't want to give it to anybody else? Oh, maybe he shows up. Oh, he shows up after you get the player paraglider. There's a Korok that shows up there. And I never realized until, like, looking up the guide on completing the, the Korok seed. Which is, like... To this day, I've only done once in Master Mode, and I'm never doing it again. Because I'll just tell you guys right now. The payoff, I mean, granted, you can hand in seeds and get expansion slots, but the grand prize for collecting all of the Korok seeds is just a tripled layer seed from Hetsu, which also looks like golden turds. So, clearly it is a stab at people who 100% completion games and just don't enjoy the game for the sake of playing it for adventure, they just have to beat it and do it all the way. And I think that's what made me stop doing 100% completions for games and just enjoy the adventure and just explore as I go. Because it's... You do lose sight of it. And like the other game that made me realize that was Undertale, because that's another game that teaches you that maybe sometimes 100% completing a game is not good. In fact, I think like it punishes you for doing it all the way and like breath of the wild did a good job with that because clearly every gamer the last objective you'd ever want to do in the game is to collect the korok seeds because there's 900 of them i think and it was just a good way to tell you hey maybe let that one go because there's a million other things that you could be doing in the breath of the wild and korok seed hunting is not one of them just get them as you see them and then I think that might have been more of the joke payoff, saying, hey, while you were running around and doing all this stuff, here's a grand prize. It's poop. Not, deliber not deliberately looking for him. I don't know. I think I'm overthinking this. Let's go get the good pants. So I'm surprised is the Hylian the, the shirt isn't around here. Or, granted, I've never found it. Like, the trousers are here, clearly to be better. And the warm doublet was supposed to be your upgrade in Grand Black Toe. But it's very interesting that you can never get the shirt from the get-go, too. Because it seems like that was supposed to be the default thing for Link, aside from the Champion Guard. Because the Champion Guard's kind of broken once you've upgraded fully. It basically is 
out exceeds everything else you'll get in the game. The only issue is, is when you like customizing colors, you can't because Highland Garb, the champion garb always has to be light blue. So I think I always built colors around that. Like in my stream, the end result was to look like Ashitaka from Spirit of, uh, Princess Mononoke. <laughs> um, this is the red, the red hood, the blue shirt and everything. It always kind of reminded me of him. And it's just a nice touch to have. <sighs> mm, sleepy. Oops. Uh, well, you're about to die, so. You outlived your purpose, Bokobo. Good job. I now equipped you. Okay. And apparently when I did the stream, nobody... There's a couple of people who didn't notice there was a ladder to the side of the building that you could take. Which made me wonder, how'd y'all get up there? Some of you probably did the stasis trick and just hit a tree multiple times and just go straight up. But oh, I was never good at that. You have conquered the shrines and claimed the spirit orb. That can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orb. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your beings. So tell me it is what it is you desire. I want heart containers. Yeah. I shall grant you the power you seek. Wait. There you go. I don't know why I went there. My thumb process was goddess who at the end of every sentence has to sound like Joe Swanson? I don't know. Go and bring peace to Iro. Good job. Hey, it's old man. What are you doing up on the roof? Why is Link ready in combat mode about that? It always made me did wonder if like, when I first played this, I thought like the final trial for the Grand Plateau was to take him on in combat to see if you're like resilient enough to go and save Hyrule. And I figured he's the king of Hyrule, he's got to have some sort of experience in fighting, like using the stick or like teaching you to aim with the bow or something. But yeah, he just he's like, Hey, good job, here's a paraglider, I, I trust you, save my daughter. It's like, all right, before I talk to you. Uh, I gotta, I gotta meet. Oh, never mind. <laughs> well done there, young one. Now, I'll tell you guys a fun I fact. For those of you who don't know, the King of Hyrule is voiced by Bill Rogers, who voices Brock in the I latter half of Pokemon. Not Eric. Like Eric Stewart was the first guy, but this is the guy who took on Brock no when they changed hands. And I think he does a good job. Even though I'm talking over him, so go ahead and say a few words before I skip your cutscene. The great calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path. Lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. Sorry to hear that. And since that time, here I have... Alright. Yeah, like the English acting is good. Um, but I've gone through cutscenes so many times with this game, that's just... The story eh, if it's a chill playthrough, they're just time eaters. I still want to hear right now. My god. That princess was my own daughter. Oh, no. Okay. Go hmm. on, here's the paraglider just as I promised. Thank you. I appreciate it. So much. You're good people. I'll save your daughter, just not right now, because if I don't do everything that I'm supposed to do, I'm going to die and or also not remember her, and then she's going to be mad, and we're not going to have a happy ending. All right. Do all that. And I don't have All right. Go get this. Uh, one of these. Pick that out. Okay. We'll end it after we get the Korok seed that's up here. Because it's also a nice scenic spot to call it a day on for a chill playthrough. And go up. Chill. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Uh 
Uh-oh. 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 <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I was like, do not throw me off the tower right now. I did not want death number four at the very end. I really didn't. Just go a nice, easy climb. Nice and easy. Okay. Hey. You found me using fourth poop. Enjoy. Thanks. Well, this has been nice and calm. Thank you guys for joining me. And I will see you all for the next chill playthrough. Bye.